Welcome back to Bob's house. I'm Model T. The first thing I started with today was getting the cobwebs off of this 1946 Mercury. This is the Spidernator 2000. Look at all those cobwebs. <laughs> I saved humanity today by killing two black widows and I think if anything was to touch me right now, I've got the creepy critter heebie-jeebies right now, I think I'd probably scream bloody murder. Today, I am starting to get back to making this thing look totally beautiful, shined up. I'm gonna spend a day and a half doing this. It really just needs some help. Remember from the video from before when I was working on it, I had gotten done with a bunch of uh, rubbing compound after I washed it and everything. However, the weather was just too rainy, too cold, and it just wasn't cooperating with us very well. Now the weather is just prime. Anyways, here we go. I'm gonna start by dusting this poor thing off and getting this really thick dust off of it. Oh, it's so dusty. I can't even hardly make a finger strike through it. Oh, wow, that is thick. in fast motion but what I'm doing is I've got one of these brushes that is a brush all the way around so as I'm cleaning the car I'm moving it around and spinning it every once in a while just so it gets in that nice fresh area every time I'm going down to down the vehicle and then that way it's not getting that same abrasive stuff just going across the paint and then I go shake it out really good. And then I start in a new area and I do the same thing. I just roll it ever so slightly as I'm getting the stuff off of it. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a damp rag and I'm gonna get off a lot of this stuff that didn't quite come off. And then we'll be able to see the shine that some of that compound rubbing did the last time I was here. And that'll give me a good idea of where I'm at and do I need to compound some more. Um, or is it just ready for polish and areas? So I'm gonna kind of check out the car, see where we're at, go from there. Hopefully you can see it, but there is all kinds of kitty prints, dark spots all over the top of the hood here. So I'll use this as reference. Looks pretty gross, right? So far, I've only washed the vehicle on one side all the way. I'll do the other side in a moment, but I just want to show you something. Now, I know it's hard to tell in this lighting, but I mean, look at that. It is so much better. The rubbing compound job that I did stayed really well. Look at that. It's just so gross on this side. There's cat prints, dark marks of sorts that have collected through the winter. Um, that's what the other side looked like. Hopefully you can tell the difference between the two in this. One day I'm gonna get a better camera. Same thing. This side, so much better. Wish I could get the true color to come through, but I think you can tell that it's it's cleaned up really nice. This side still needs to be done. Huh, Ribbon Compound does a really good job. All I have to do is do a few little spots lightly and then I'll be ready to polish and wax. Now, hopefully you can see where this begins and ends, but I just polished a bit. You can see the outer edge right through here. So shiny, and that's just being polished in that one spot. We still have to wax after that. Okay, 
the sun is starting to go down. It's been a busy day. Not only have I been getting this car super duper clean and ready for being polished and waxed tomorrow, but I was helping Paul make some video on a very cool project that he's got going. He has something that he's been wanting for a very long time, and I'm gonna let him tell you that about it, all about that, but for now, I'm just finishing getting all this stuff off the paint, and it got all the debris and everything else. I'll have a link in the descriptions um, of every product that I used for this mercury while cleaning it and getting it to its brand new state of being, and, uh, yeah, I'm excited to share it with you guys because it's just coming out so gorgeous. So, good night, you guys. I will see you in the morning. Good morning. Welcome back. It's a beautiful sunny morning and it's time to get back to work on this 1946 Mercury. Me and Bob went out this morning. I got a coffee. We got some wax because I just couldn't find any in the shop that I really wanted to do for the finish of this. I wanted some really, really good stuff for this type of paint. I'll be sharing that with you later down in the description also with all the other products. But oh my gosh, I'm definitely making some really good progress with the paint here. It's coming out so beautiful. I can't wait to share it with you. It's time to get started. Okay, I'm going to give you a good for instance on how these products work so well. <laughs> Excuse me as I jostle the camera around, but this right here, um, someone who's getting a spanking when I find out who it was, laid some old tires against the car in between when I last compounded it and uh, when I'm doing it now. So I moved the tires, saw these, I thought, oh no. Well, I got some dry washing guard and I already did one spot. It worked so well, so I had to show you guys. It's like, just gotta give it a little bit of elbow grease, but it came out so beautiful on the door. This one's a lot smaller. And the other one was much longer. I'm just kind of giving a little swirly, a back and forth, stuff like that. And it is coming off so nice. There we go. All right. On the spots where I can see it still ever so slightly, I just kind of go back and forth on it. Then I do the swirlies. Gonna let that dry for a moment. And then we're gonna buff it off. Okay, here we go. I mean, look at that. Sorry my camera isn't better, but I think it's good enough that you can see a huge, huge difference. And this is only from dry wash and guard. I haven't even done polish there yet. It's been compounded, it's been washed. Now I use the spray wash and guard. It's getting any other little residues of anything off. So it's gonna be so perfect when I go to polish it next. Guess what it's time for? Polish time, yeah. All right, I got the electricity set up here. Thank you, Bob. Gonna make sure you shake that polish up really well. Go away, kitty cat. Lots of kitty cats making some kitty on the rope around here in Bob's sand. Got the palm polisher. I will put a link to in the description about that also got this little red button, you just push it, it turns it on, and what I do, some people like to put it directly on here and then put it on, I don't know, I'm just going to put it directly on the car. It's going to take a bit to get um, enough on here to do its thing, but I do not turn it on until I put it on the vehicle, and then I turn it on, otherwise you're going to end up with a splattery mess. And I'm just going to go around and some people like to go back and forth because they say they get swirly marks. Whatever your way is that you like, you go for it. As long as the job is getting done, I don't know. I haven't noticed a difference either way. And basically, when it's dry, you're just going to wipe it off with your little microfiber cloth. And uh, usually I do kind of a a section at a time and then I wipe it off and I keep on going so that's what I'm gonna do so 
what's next on this adventure? We're down to waxing. I'm gonna use this little buffing pad that they gave me and it's the gold class. See how it goes. So hopefully this will just put that last little touch of luster and shine that I'm looking for. The person who does end up purchasing it won't really have to do anything to it for a very long time other than dust it off. It says to just put a nice thin coat. I've been starting with the top of the hood and now I'm just kind of working around it. So once I'm done with this on both sides then I'm supposed to wait until it's thoroughly dry and then I can start where I began and use a terry cloth and start getting all the dried wax off. I think you can see all the wax marks. Now it's drying completely. I'm gonna let it really dry. The sun is coming soon. So in the meantime, before the sun gets to the paint, I'm gonna be washing the windows and pretty soon I will be buffing out the wax. Well, it's that time. It's time to get this wax off the body. It's been on here probably at least a good three to four hours. By the time I'm done wiping it down, the other side should be at least close to there. The sun is going to start setting in the sky over there, so it's dragging the sun inwards more towards the vehicle. So I'm gonna try to get to that other side before the sun has a chance to touch it, because it eventually it will towards the evening. So I'm gonna start cleaning like crazy. Just get this wax off. Got my terry cloth. Oh, that's coming up awesome. <laughs> I can't help but to get excited doing all this kind of stuff. It's so cool. This mercury has just got the most amazing blinds and curves and everything else that it's been fun working on in the first place. They just don't make vehicles like this anymore. I was talking to Bob today, and I swear it seems like somewhere around the 50s, it seems, they just stopped putting a lot of tender, loving care into just like pieces of art. I'd take an older vehicle like this over a new one anytime. Look at that shine. Woo! I don't think this paint's looked this good in a long time. So now after I'm done buffing out this paint, getting the wax off. Then I'll go over it one more time with a microfiber cloth just to get any residue and dust and whatnot off the paint. I'm gonna sleep good tonight. I am really happy with the shine that this has. So as much as I tried, I just barely finished. The sun is on it so hardcore. I hope that you can see just how shiny this is everywhere. Now, the windows have only been done a little bit. I'm gonna definitely need a separate day for the windows and the inside. So the inside is pretty nasty. It has not been well maintained or driven for years upon years. So you know how that goes. Bugs, mice, different things get in, cause havoc, dust. How I don't know how it gets in there. Anyways, I'll kind of give you an idea of what it looks like. It's definitely going to be for a different day. Well, it's going to be a lot of cleaning, you know? A lot of spider webs. Not too bad with cleaning out stuff out of the seat. <sighs> okay, well that's a wrap. I am gonna go take a very needed shower. I am just filthy head to toe. I worked on this for a day and a half, basically. Got a little bit of time. I'm gonna get home, get showered, get ready for tomorrow for work. 
Right now, I am just super pleased that I've got this back to being super shiny. It's protected from the weather and everything else right now. So I'm just super happy about that. I did some shining on the chrome and the lights and all that kind of stuff. What we have left is the windows. I've got the inside of the vehicle as I showed you. That's definitely going to be for another day. Um, probably pretty quick here. But I'm going to use this as an update as to what's going on with this 1946 Mercury. Bob is going to sell it. I should be having the inside done probably in the next few days. So I'm super excited about that. It'll be just as shiny inside as it is on the outside. You guys have a wonderful week. Take care. God bless. I love you guys. Yeah. You need to go compound polish wax. Mm -hmm. Good wax. Don't buy cheap wax. If you're if you're gonna cheap out on anything, cheap out on your compound. Yeah. Don't cheap out on your wax. Get the good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And what happens with the compound? Why does it go back to looking like that chalky yuckiness? Well, the compound kind of cuts that top layer of paint. So if you imagine a layer of paint over the car. As it paint just dries and dries and dries, keeps drying more and more and more, eventually it tends to kind of crack apart. And the compound kind of cuts off that top layer and kind of does that with it and kind of smooths it out. This is terrible, but you know what I mean. Yeah. So it kind of smooths it out, but you still have a few little gaps here and there. So the compound like we use has a glaze in it that kind of takes some of that material that you've removed, mushes it up and kind of pushes it into those cracks for lack of a better term, your okay. polish will make that perfectly flat and smooth. Mm -hmm. Then your wax puts a okay. seal. Okay. Yeah, okay. but good wax will last a lot longer than cheap wax will, for one thing. Carnuba is great and all that, but these new waxes that are coming out and people are using um, now the ceramic seal like we did, that Suma, S-U-M-A, Suma, whatever it's called, uh, ceramic mm -hmm. coat. Oh my gosh, wow. And that lasts like a year. I mean, of nice, wow, shiny, you know, nice. looks like that yeah, for like how, a year. This is how he gets our vehicles looking super, yeah. super shiny. Even our 29 that has like the original paint. Well, yeah, that's the, but it's I didn't gorgeous. use compound on that, though. Because, oh, you didn't. No, that paint's 100 years old. There's no way I'm taking compound to that. All right, that's good uh, to know. No, I'd rather go down a water slide covered with razor blades into a pool of alcohol than put compound on that. So what did you do? That is uh, the uh, dry washing guard. Okay. So and dry washing guard uh, is a kerosene-based um, cleaner, wax sealer, blah, blah, blah. That's all I've used on that. And the more I use it, the better it looks. But um, that paint isn't perfect. The closer you get, the worse it looks. Yeah. But from 10 feet away, like it's me. totally acceptable. <laughs> Whatever. So uh, that that car, um, I would never take compound to that. Okay. That's um, good um, but know. this car, however... Um, you know, when I bought it, uh, you know, it looked, it looked okay. I mean, it looked good, mm -hmm. but I saw the thickness of the paint I measured. I don't know. I think there was 12 mils or something more than it needed, <laughs> you know? So I thought, what the heck? So I started cutting on that. Mm -hmm. So first thing I did was color sand it. And then I started with compound, went to polish from polish. I went to a wax that is used on buffers. Uh, to clean. It's the Meguiar's uh, stuff. And then from that, now I go with dry wash and guard. And that car looks like a mirror.